Dear Alessia, 011122, it's 7.20 a.m. out here in Arizona. Our schedule and diet is all out of whack. We've gone to In-N-Out Burger too many times, and when we go to In-N-Out Burger, we get milkshakes and fries and double-doubles, two each. Me and your mama get the same thing, and it's a junk house feast. But we both have stated clearly to each other, no more In-N-Out for now. Today, we go to Sprouts and get healthy stuff and look at more places to raise you in. Hopefully, we find your future home out here. Reconnecting with the dad side of your mama's family has been a joy. We've been embraced with a warmth and a love that no one should take for granted in this world, and we don't. It's wonderful to see your mama heal these old connections and expand what for you will be future family. Very important figures in your life, no doubt. Your granddad, Alexander, your aunt Ava, and your step-grandmama, Tatiana. All very sweet people indeed. We went to some big arcade slash bowling alley two nights in a row, a kind of celebration for a lost childhood, you could say. It wasn't done that way on purpose, but I have a habit of interpreting real life like it's made of dreams because that's what real life is made out of. We all put on oculuses and wielded virtual reality guns. We landed in a world made of video games and androids, loud bangs and jackpot prizes, alley strikes, clinking plates, music up loud, a place I can already see you enjoying greatly in the future. All the fun we will get to have playing games together and making you laugh, bringing out that easy smile of yours. I'm feeling blessed that we are holding it all together, that our work to keep the family unit alive through whatever challenges arise is expanding and extending quite literally before our eyes. Have I mentioned the weather? I'm in shorts and a tank top right now. It's a cool morning which will unfold into sunny 70 plus degrees and it's January. I could get used to this. I know the summers are brutal here, but we have ideas for those. In another, in another news, the world is in the middle of an extended wake-up call. Fauci caught lying under oath as if we didn't know what he's about. CNN completely changing the narrative they created as the writing on the wall turns to blood. Their ratings in the toilet and sinking. The rats are jumping off the sinking ship and people are done being controlled by television puppet strings. They've been lied to too many times, and obvious lies displayed in lights for the world to see by media juggernauts like Joe Rogan, Jimmy Dore, Tim Pool, and many others. People with followings bigger than theirs pointing out the insanity of their coverage. They even did a report on how hospitalizations from COVID had likely been exaggerated, to which so many of us who have now been chastised for years at this point are saying, you don't say. And this is just the beginning. The cracks in the narrative are not only showing, but they are in lights and growing. And those that helped craft it and create it are seeing the dangerous predicament that they are in. Humanity waking up to the most epic season of gaslighting that's foisted upon a people. The clap back from it is going to be severe. The rage people will feel when all of this is exposed will be overwhelming. The lives lost from the suppression of safe and effective treatments will come back to haunt those that perpetuated this satanic agenda. And we are at the point where all of this is undeniable. Humans in troves will now start saying what a few of us have been saying all along and getting tarred and feathered for it. But those that say it now will be applauded from the cheap seats and comment sections will be filled with approval and agreement that they sensed something was off all along, and how dare they? But this is just how humanity operates, and life has never once pretended to be fair. It's a video game. We are in a giant gaming center with oculuses on and virtual reality guns pointing at each other. I'm good with a little crib in AZ raising you with your mama and working towards these dreams of mine. The number one dream is that magic smile on your face. Bringing that out each and every day, that's good enough.